can intermittent fasting cure diabetes? Intermittent fasting is an amazing tool that I utilize with my clients and AM peeps who utilize the 21 day intermittent fasting program. But maybe you have diabetes or you're pre-diabetic or you're trying to avoid diabetes and you're wondering, hey, can intermittent fasting actually help me? I'm going to be sharing the details of whether or not intermittent fasting can actually help with diabetes in today's video. All right, guys, if you're new to my channel and you don't know who I am, my name's Autumn and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition and human performance. So it's my passion to help you feel empowered to actually take your health into your own hands and to feel good again. So in today's video, we're really focusing on type two diabetes, not type one. And one of the main hallmarks of what type two diabetes is, is high blood glucose and or insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance can be a little bit of a confusing concept, but really all it is, is that your body has to produce more and more and more insulin because you are having higher and higher amounts of blood glucose in your body. Now, as a result of producing higher and higher amounts of insulin, your cells actually start to reduce their insulin receptors so that it requires more insulin in order to get that blood glucose into the cell. And that's why it's called insulin resistance. So on the flip side, if you're insulin sensitive, then that means that your cells have a lot of insulin receptors so that you require less insulin in order to get the same job done. Now you can get a bunch of different tests for this to determine your insulin sensitivity or resistance. Some of them HbA1c, fasting or postprandial blood glucose. All of those are great. And in fact, you can actually even do the fasting and postprandial, postprandial blood glucose levels down at your own house. In fact, I occasionally will test out my own blood glucose levels just because I'm a nutrition nerd like that and I like to see where I'm at. In fact, let me show you what I have. When people think of insulin sensitivity or blood glucose levels, they think just type two diabetes. And if you're watching this, maybe you do have type two diabetes or you know someone who has it, but it, this is actually something that we all need to be taking a look at because insulin resistance is tied to things like infertility, PCOS, weight gain, metabolic syndrome, and more and more people are experiencing it. This is what I use. It's called Keto Mojo. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but I love their blood glucose monitor because if you also wanted to measure your ketones, you came with it very easily as well. But this is one way that you could actually just test it yourself to see whether or not you're insulin sensitive. And this is actually, again, how you can tr keep track of your results with intermittent fasting and see how it's affecting your insulin sensitivity. So going back to the main question of whether or not type two diabetes can be cured or helped with intermittent fasting. Now I've talked about this a lot in other videos on the concept of eating often throughout the day and how that keeps your insulin levels high. So if your insulin levels are consistently high, then that is something that is going to lead to insulin resistance. So you want to be able to have periods of lower insulin so that your body can readjust its itself to that insulin and produce more receptors and make it more insulin sensitive. Now it can't do that if you are constantly pumping out insulin in response to eating often throughout the day. So this is a very simplified version of what we're talking about here. Of course, there's other factors. Nutrient timing is one and getting rid of sugar in your diet is another. But pilot studies have found that intermittent fasting specifically can really help those with type two diabetics. For example, I'm looking at one pilot study right now. It's done in 2017. And this was done specifically with type two diabetics. And it found that those averaging about a six 16 hour fast, AKA utilizing intermittent fasting, had decreased levels of postprandial blood glucose and fasting blood glucose levels. They also experienced reduced body weight, which is huge because that's something that can also really help with type two diabetics is reducing weight. Now, there are a lot of other studies that have been done that have found that intermittent fasting does improve insulin sensitivity, which again is one of the main factors you're looking at with type two diabetes is whether or not you have insulin resistance. And a lot of studies have found outside of just those with type two diabetics that people are experiencing this insulin sensitivity as as a result of intermittent fasting. In fact, I saw that with myself too. I utilize my 21 day intermittent fasting program and I actually have my blood glucose results from before and after in my fasting state. If I can find it, I'll put it right here. You know, I'm not type two diabetic, but like I mentioned, everybody really needs to be looking at this because this is one way to really monitor your long-term health, your long-term wellness. And I found that my cells became more insulin sensitive after using intermittent fasting for even just three weeks. That's also with the proper nutrient timing that goes along in the 21 day intermittent fasting program. But these are the same principles that I also use with my type two diabetic clients and they have found that their fasting blood glucose levels have decreased as well. So to answer your question of does intermittent fasting cure type two diabetes, I think it's a little reductive to just say that intermittent fasting does this. There's a lot of other factors as well, but this is a tool that I've utilized with my clients and myself and I've found really great insulin sensitivity results from using intermittent fasting. And again, that's something that you're looking to achieve with type two diabetes. So if you're looking to implement intermittent fasting, it's really important that you do it the right way. Highly recommend that you check out this video. It goes over some of the 10 mistakes that I often see. You can also check out the 21 day intermittent fasting guide down below. Also, if you love all this science backed information on how you can feel good again, make sure you subscribe right here. I'm out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.